This is my Las Vegas home and as any other home in Las Vegas it comes with a power hungry air conditioner. It does come with a smart thermostat. Unfortunately it comes with a $350 power bill in summertime. But if you think I'm just going to accept that you're wrong. Here are my five reasons why we should buy a evaporative cooler. Number one, cost savings. My power hungry air conditioner uh, can use up to 5,000 watts or five kilowatts of electricity every hour it runs. And even though it only runs half of the time, if you do the math at 15 cents a kilowatt, you easily get $250 just in cooling bills for your house. A swamp cooler like this on 30 days could use 20, 30, maybe $40 of electricity, which is nothing compared to what your AC would use. Humidity is actually good for you. The Medical Association recommends for a healthy living uh, humidity levels between 40 and 60 percent, and this unit will be able to achieve that into a dry environment like where Las Vegas is located. We are usually dipping under 10% humidity and this unit will keep your house very, very nice between 40 and 60, also will keep it cool. Number three, you get a lot less allergies uh, with a swamp cooler running in your house. Also, you don't get that pesky, bloody nose because of the dry air. That is a very important benefit for me because I am sensitive as far as that goes. If I don't run a swamp cooler and I'm running very, very dry humidity in the house, uh, I get bloody noses every morning when I wake up. Remember, the air conditioning system, the way that it's designed, it actually pulls humidity out of the air, so it makes it even worse. Number four reason is that you don't get that dry skin feel that you get here in the desert, even if you work just a little bit outside. You come inside a house, you stay at 40, 50, 60% humidity, and everything just starts to feel normal again. Your hair feels better, it's easier to wash, it's not fuzzy all the time. Also, it helps with the dandruff from, from pets, uh, keeping the pet hair down, so your house actually stays cleaner in a medium humidity environment than a very, very dry environment where everything just flies everywhere, uh, and you could see it on every sunshine ray that comes through your window. If you have expensive furniture in the house, the last thing that you would think of is getting an evaporative cooler because they have the bad stigma of being this old thing that they were using 40 years ago. But the truth is that an evaporative cooler is actually going to protect your furniture from cracks and drying out that is really, really bad for the furniture. The easiest way to find out about this, just look at all the museums that have furniture and artifacts that are very, very old, and you will see that they are kept into a humid environment. Let's face it, we all want to save money, and when we are using our AC, we always raise it a couple of degrees up, so our power bill is not going to be too big, and we basically skimming ourselves. Uh, in the process because we are going to be less comfortable and uh, we're gonna pay more money. When you have an evaporative cooler, you don't have that problem anymore. You could run it 24 seven and it will only cost you like 20 or $30 uh, every month. So because of that, you're gonna have a much cooler house, a much better quality of life. Those are my five reasons why I love having a evaporative cooler in my house. Um, no, not everybody feels the same way. That's why we have a comment section on every YouTube video so I know what you're thinking about this video. So write me down at the bottom of the video a comment. Let me know if you're using one, how happy are you with. If you have experience uh, with this brand, how satisfied are you with it? Because this is the best one I've found so far. It's plastic, it never rusts, it works really, really well. I love the design, it's very, very slim, it's easy to put in a window. Uh, the old ones, that they were all rusty and ugly, those are not cool anymore. This is the new kid in town and this is how a swamp cooler looks in the 2018. Thanks for watching.